Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Unbound. So you find me here in Grim Woods, but by the looks of it, I think we're about to uh, leave this place already. Let's see if I am right. I'm indeed right, and oh, hey, it's Jax. Looks like I'm here. I better get moving then. Well, we made it to Route 4, which is awesome, and by the looks of it, almost, uh, we're also near uh, Cinder Volcano. Anyway, trainer tips. In a battle, you can check your Pokemon's moves for details like power and accuracy ratings. Just press L before selecting a move. And of course, that's another uh, signpost red, seeing as that's uh, something we need to do. Also, I kind of want to heal my Pokemon. Uh, but unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to have an easy time doing that right now, so... Might have to do some of my own healing, especially considering Score Rupee is burned after that encounter with the... Um, with a uh, Phantom. I think it used Will-O-Wisp on it. Oh, do you want a battle, do you? I'll tell you what, let me switch to a Pokemon that might do better. So tell you what, Quacker, time for you to shine. Oh, you don't want a battle. That ledge will take you right back to Dresco Town. I think carefully about using it, though. Once you hop it, the only way back through is to go through Grim Woods. Well, I do need to heal my Pokemon, but I don't know if I can be bothered going through the woods again. So, even though it didn't take that long, but... Yeah, it's kind of annoying that I'm going to have to go all the way back there. Also, Budu. Okay, Budu. Right, okay. Unfortunately, I don't think these attacks are... I don't think going to withstand these attacks, so... I mean, we'll give it a go, but I am not expecting Budu to survive this. Wow. It actually survived it, and he poisoned me. Well, luckily I bought plenty of antidotes, so I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried about that. I will heal up Ducklet in a bit, especially if I can't find, uh, like, a Chansey somewhere out and about to heal my Pokemon. I did see there was a Porygon near where Jax went into, that cave there, so hopefully maybe there'll be a uh, Chansey somewhere. But there we go. Budu, the Bud Pokemon. It lives alongside clear ponds. It scatters pollen that induces harsh sneezing and runny noses. Ugh, not ideal for me, seeing as I do suffer from hay fever. So, probably best to stay away from Budu <laughs> in, that, in that situation, but there we go. Right, first things first, let's actually heal uh, Quacker from the poison. Not going to use any potions yet, just in case I do happen to find a Chansey. But considering I can't go up this way anyway, so we might as well just keep on going. Also, this looks mighty suspicious. I'm just going to assume that's some kind of sea route. Alright, fine. We'll go this way then. Also, hi. Up, uh, hi. Here, take some potions. Oh, Thanks. Nice. All right, cool. Cinder Volcano is dangerous and temperatures are extreme. If you don't have your Pokemon to protect you, you could faint. Oh, dear. Not ideal. Cinder Volcano. Oh, okay. No chance here, but looks like... Yeah, if you beat me, I'll heal your Pokemon for free. Oh, awesome. Just like in Pokemon Black and, Black and White and Black 2 and White 2. Nice. All right, Laura will uh, defeat you in battle. And we can get some easy healing getting on. Of course you're going to use double team. But... I do know Aerial Ace, so that's kind of uh, pointless. There we go. Nice. And Quacker wants to learn Brine. Hmm. Could be useful, actually. Hmm. Uh, I know this one has a high critical hit ratio, but Brian could be useful. So I'm going to forget Air Cutter and we'll have Brian. If I play it right, then yeah, Brian will definitely be uh, very useful. And Chansey, okay. Well, that's perfect. Let's bring out. Well, let's bring out Riolu for the time being. But I can't remember how heavy Chansey are. 
So, depending on how heavy Chansey are, this will affect how strong uh, Low Kick's going to be, unless I use Work Up. Uh, let's just use Low Kick for now. Let's see what we're working on. Uh, we're doing very well. There was no need to use Work Up. <laughs> Nicely done, Riolu. Damn. Look at that. Boost. Love it. Oh my, that's a huge boost to our experience. Nice. Okay, getting a whole bunch of level ups here. And there we go. Defeated Laura. Healing time! <laughs> nice. Excellent. Well, that's uh, certainly going to help. Right, well, in that case then, now we don't need to worry about our health. We should be good. So, let's switch back to Gibble up front. And we're going to go through uh, Cinder Volcano. Wait, did I read that sign? Hang on, before I did, did I read that sign? I was so uh, preoccupied, I was... Uh, oh yeah, I did. It said uh, Cinder Volcano Passage. Okay, just wanted to double check. Uh, yeah, Rugged Rock, but a Pokemon might be able to smash it. Also, this is really cool. I mean, in terms of looks, obviously it, it can't that be that cool in in the volcano. It'll be boiling up, but eek, you know what I mean. <laughs> also, Numel. Alright. Uh, let's use Bite. Ooh! Ooh, very good. Very, very good there. Gibble. I wish I bought even more Pokeballs, but you know what? It's fine. As long as we get Pokemon on our first attempt, we won't need to worry too much about wasting them. Uh, you know what? I will take the Rouseberry. Why not? Because I'm not going to be grabbing Numel anytime soon. Numel, the Num Pokemon. It's humped back, stores intensely hot magma. In rain, the magma cools, slowing its movement. Oh, well, there we go. So, presumably, we're probably going to potentially find Torkoal in here as well. Also, presumably... Uh, I... Oh, actually, can I? Oh, wishful thinking. Come on. I could just squeeze up to the wall and just scoot along the side there. I mean, how dangerous can it be? <laughs> yeah, presumably I might need some Pokemon to get over the lava. Aha! I called it. Indeed, a Torkoal. Uh, the sunlight got bright. I mean, that's fine. Oh wow, that's hardly doing anything. Uh, I don't know if I could be bothered wasting my time with this. Um, oh, I pressed that so... Oh, okay, critical hit, that's fine. Uh, actually, if I can get you into the orange at least, I might try catching you. Although you are flinching quite a lot after my attack, so that's absolutely fine. Alright, we'll try one Pokeball. Let's see whether this works. Whether you're weak enough. No, that's fine. Excellent. Tall coal was caught. Excellent. Alright, level 23. Good stuff. And let's have a read of your Pokedex entry. Tall coal. The coal Pokemon. It burns coal inside its shell for energy. It blows out black soot if it is in a dangerous situation. Fair enough. Alright, another Pokemon added to the collection. Ooh. Oh, hello. Hello. I see you on the floor. I see you on the floor. Yeah, the strange creature was sucked into the cube. So, all collected so far. Okay, so we got the ladder and a cave. Let's go in a cave first. Let's see where this goes. Uh, not too sure right now. Although, well, thinking about it, I probably should have bought some uh, repels, but hey, if I did, I would have missed out on this mag thing. Oh, of course you're going to use smoke screen. Really? Oh, screw you, mag thing. Well, whatever. If I can catch you at least, then that's something. Man, these Pokemon in here sure mean business. Really? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I am not having that, Magby. If you want to be a little jerk. Oh, do I want to waste a Great Ball on you? Hmm. 
no, screw it. I'm just going to use Bite again. Screw you, Magby. Maybe next time I'll get you. Well, the fact that you're burnt, I am going to have to probably do some quick healing. I want to see where this goes first, at the very least. Okay, a way out. Oh, not quite what I was expecting, but sure. Ooh, piece of rare candy. Uh, right, okay. Not quite what I was expecting, but sure. At least I got a piece of rare candy for it, but unfortunately. Um, I don't really have any repels, and the amount of Pokemon I might encounter is going to be really annoying. So I think I'm just going to temporarily switch Pokemon uh, around and just get myself out of here and get myself healed. And then we'll continue exploring. But at least now I know that we're going to have to go up the ladder to make any progress. Also, new Pokemon? Ooh, it is actually. But as I said, I kind of want to do a quick bit of healing first. So we're going to ignore catching Pokemon for the time being. And I'm just going to get my Pokemon healed. Right, so I just healed my Pokemon. And hey, we got ourselves a Geodude. I was wondering how long it will take for us to encounter those. But uh, let's not worry about it right now. Let's just keep on going through Cinder Volcano. And um, hi, battle? Battle. My school told me it was too dangerous to come here. Yeah, you know what? Your school makes a good point. Hardly the best place for a school kid. A Max? Anyway, a Woobat. Alright, cool. I mean, that's fine. Especially for me, seeing as I can use Bite on it. Yeah. There we go. Sucks to be you, Woobat. And Rio Lugus level 22. Very nice. That's what I get for not listening, yeah. Pay attention next time, kid. Be careful while exploring the volcano. There's plenty of exposed magma everywhere. Yeah, you don't say. You really don't say. Did they really need to teach you that teach us that teach you that at school? Also, yeah, maybe I should try training up Riolu a little bit, but no, you know what, let's just stick with uh, Gibble for the timing. I heard there was a rare bird type Pokemon around here. Well, by the sounds of it, I think you uh, heard right. But yeah, good luck trying to find that particular Pokemon. Anyway, a, a uh, more while, eh? Yeah, sucks to be you because I know Firefang. Okay, not done too much damage to me, so that's absolutely fine. We'll keep on using Firefang for the time being. And you're going to use Comfy. Let's change Pokemon. Let's change to... Mm, let's change to Litleo for now. Partly because I can't remember what Pokemon type uh, Comfy is. <laughs> well, whatever. As long as... Actually, let's use Incineroar. Just in case you happen to have a berry or something. I mean, that's fine. I had a feeling you'd know Grass-type moves, so, uh, yeah, good luck with that. Also, how did you survive that? That makes no sense at all. Also, screw you for using Leech Seed. In, a, in an act of desperation there, so because of that, I'm going to give you a Fire Fang. Yeah, screw you, Comfy. Nice, Vanilla Light Grizzly level 19. It probably doesn't like me right now, considering we're in a red hot volcano and I have a nice type Pokemon, like just stuck in a volcano right now. There's no such thing as a bird type Pokemon, is there? No wonder I can't find a rare Pokemon. Well, I mean. Could be mistaken. Also, I thought there might be something up there, but. There isn't. Ah, a Woobat. Alright, okay. So this is where we find a wild Woobat. Uh, as I said, I'm not too worried about catching some of these Pokemon right now. Especially as I am kind of running out of Pokeballs right now. So I'm going to save it for potential rare Pokemon instead. Also, I might want to battle you using Riolu instead. So I'll tell you what, Riolu, you go up front and take you on. Hi. Hello. Hi. Behind you. Behind you. No, no, no. Try again. I'll oh, screw it, I'll do it myself. When one is 
this far into the volcano, one should ask themselves, should I continue on or go home? <laughs> should I stay or should I go? I don't know, Trent. I mean, what do you want to do? Also, I was half expecting you to bring out a rock-type Pokemon rather than a fighting-type Pokemon, but you know what? It's fine. Let's use a low kick and see how that does, depending how heavy this Makahita is. Not bad! Ooh. How dare you knock off my Soothe Bell? How dare you? Because of that, I'm now going to Metal Claw you right in the face. Yeah, that's what you get. Ah, that's more like it. Now we use it. Now you're going to bring out a rock type Pokemon, Rock and Roller. Did the game just lag there for a little bit? <laughs> Weak armor, obviously, defense will fall, but that will increase up your speed, doesn't it? Yeah. Ah, but of course, you end up using iron defense, so. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to use at least one more low kick. Yeah. I want to think about using, like, work up, but to be honest, I don't know if that would, be, would have been worth it anyway. I can use Stealth Rock, that's fine. As long as I don't switch our Pokemon, it's absolutely fine. Uh oh. Of course, you use Mud Slap. This is going to be it. Oh no, there we go. Riolu managed to uh, fight it off. Excellent. Good stuff, Riolu. Very good, very good. Little Yogurt is level 23, that's also pretty good. Okay, you want to learn Endeavor. Alright, is it worth it? Could potentially be worth it. Let's... Let's keep Noble Roar. And we'll forget Work Up. One does not simply decide in an instant. Well, I mean, that is true. Which way will you choose to go? I choose this way. That's what I choose. Anyway, third floor of Cinder Volcano. Let's keep on going. Stick with Riolu up front for the time being. It's about to get lit. Really now, it's about to get lit. Oh, you have a lit Leo. Oh, that's not good news for you. I decided to stick with Riolu. Nice. Ah, but of course you use Noble Roar. Okay. Not ideal, but... You can still make this work somewhat. You use Takedown, which honestly probably isn't the smartest move. There we go. Nice. Easily taken care of. Good stuff there, Riolu. And there we go. We defeated Jace. Extinguished. Indeed. This place is so hot. It's too easy to start a fire. Well, I mean, I, I mean that does make sense. Also, ooh, we've got a split in the path here. Uh, I think before we go too far, let's go to the left and see what's down. Uh, what over, what's over this bridge? Probably nothing. Yeah, we need rock climb and rock smash to get anything around here. What about further down? I mean, that's just a woo bat. I don't really care for you right now. Go. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, unless there's a hidden item somewhere, there's nothing much there. I tell you what, I think unless we find another, unless we find a way to heal my Pokemon while we're inside here, I think I'm just going to use some potions for the time being. So let's just use a potion on you, and that will be all right for the time being. We'll carry on with Riolu for the time being. Let's see what's up here. Another ladder. Okay. Ah, a battle. Battle. Okay. Have a look at my fire-resistant Pokemon. Ooh, okay. What kind of Pokemon are we looking at, uh, Nikki? Hang on, fire-resistant Pokemon, and you're sending out bloody grass-type Pokemon. Are you for real? Also, I can't imagine C dot being that heavy, so I don't think low kick is actually going to do much. So let's uh, not try that. Hmm. Mega Drain, really. Okay, I think in that case, then, if you're going to be doing that, let's uh, bring out Litleo instead. Yeah, good luck using Mega Drain on a Fire-type Pokemon. <laughs> wow, that hardly did anything. 
and for your stupidity, I'm going to use Incinerate. Nice. And the Budyu, well, we might as well stick with Lit Leo. Really fire resistant. Last time I checked, these Pokemon are really fire resistant, are they? I think you got your words the wrong way around. They weren't as resistant as I thought. No. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> I came here to train my Pokemon that have a natural weakness to fire types. Well, I guess that's true, but this is a video game. It doesn't really work the same as it does in the anime, so yeah, not ideal. Also, trainer tips. One time use items are returned to you after important battles such as against gym leaders. Use them to help strengthen your team and give yourself an edge. Oh, there we go. And another split in the path. Ooh. Okay, well, let's just see. So we've got someone waiting up here. What about here? Okay, a ladder down. Alright, we'll have a quick peek what's down here. Might be the way forward, so let's uh, come back to that, and instead let's just go across this bridge, seeing as I do see... Adol? Adol! Do you feel that the bridges are sturdy? Are you afraid that they could collapse under you at any moment? Well, this is a video game, so I don't really expect that to happen, unless uh, the creator of this ROM hack um, surprises me. But who knows. Anyway, Electrike. Why did I say it like that? Electric. Or electric, I should say. Electric. Why did I say it like that? Okay, good to know that you're faster than me. Probably not that heavy. Ooh, actually, critical hit. Okay, hmm. Do I dare try and use. Nah, let's just use low kick for now. Ah, good job I did. I was half expecting you to use spark again. Okay, glad I decided not to uh, take a chance with um, counter. Gibble Grid's level 24, very nice. You want to learn Bulldoze? Okay, finally. Finally learn a move that, um, that uh, you've actually got a type for. Uh, hmm, question is, what do I want to make you forget? Sandstorm is useful, but admittedly I don't really use it that often, so I think we're going to forget Sandstorm. And you're going to use Magnemite. I think we'll switch, because even though you're super effective, Low Kick's probably not going to do that much. So I think instead, let's bring out Litleo again. Just uh, use uh, our fire attacks to uh, take care of it instead of the fighting type moves. Uh, so yeah, just use Incinerate for the time being. Of course you have Sturdy. And, of course, you're going to use Thunder Wave, like an utter jerk. All right, fine. All right, Fire Fang it is then. Magnet Bomb. All right. Well, that's fine. As long as we can get through this battle, we'll be fine. Yeah, that should level up Riolu. Indeed, it does. Nice. Oh, Cracker Grizz at level 23 as well. Very good. And we defeated Bailey. Don't worry. The bridges won't collapse. Well, that's good to know. Ooh, Gibble's evolving. All right, sure. Nice. Gibble evolved into Gabite. Very nice. And you want to learn Dual Chop. Okay, that sounds potentially useful. Uh, the user hits the foe with two brutal strikes in one turn. Okay, that actually does sound kind of awesome. But you know what? I don't think we have any need for Fire Fang anymore. Now that you know both a ground type move and finally a dragon type move. So absolutely, we're going to have you use Dual Chop. And I'll just have Lit Leo be my dedicated fire type Pokemon. All these bridges were designed to withstand the immense heat. That's why they're red, as opposed to the normal light blue. Ah, there we go. Okay. We're going up here. All right. Ah! One with the wind. One with the flames. The god that keeps vigil over the sacred torch. Now become the inferno that scorches the wastelands. Sancrem Bolganon! Descend to me, Moltres. 
Now, Shadow Warriors, restrain it. And now for the capture. Oh dear. That they made it almost that, that was practically as easy as it was when he caught Otakuno. That was about as routine as it could get. Mission complete. Let's move out. Well, we're too late, aren't we? Also, as it turns out, this is the way that we wanted to go, but I'll backtrack another time. In the meantime, I might want to heal my Pokemon. Stop right there, Shadow. Return Moltres back to where it belongs. Unfortunately, I see no reason to humour your foolish request. Step aside if you know what's good for you. Sorry, but you're not going anywhere until Moltres is free. If you won't come quietly, then I'll have to use force. Uh, I, I hoped it hadn't come to this. My party was kept light for this mission, but fortunately I have other allies besides my Pokemon. Shadow Warriors, if you would. Ivory, wait. You don't need to waste time over this lone trainer. I'll hold him off, just focus on the mission. Let's go, Shadow Warriors. Well, now we know your name. No, they escaped with Moltres. Yeah, this isn't the time to feel sorry for myself. I've got to chase after them. Meanwhile, here I am. Wait, you're Jono, I think? Did Grandpa Arthur send you here? Ah, so you sent us back up. Jeez, I got embarrassed in front of you. Well, now that you're here, why don't you and I team up? You were sent to help, and i got to admit I could do with some right now. Sure. So I decided to go with Jax. Hey, does that mean you keep my Pokemon healed? I bet we'll make a good team. Your Pokemon in better shape than I am right now, so you lead. I can hang back and support. I'll make sure to keep us both healed up too. Ah, awesome. So, okay, well, teamed up with Jerks, the first three viable Pokemon in your party will be selected for battle. Okay, good to know. Uh, so, presumably, uh, my Pokemon get automatically healed. Let's have a look. Oh, they do. Ah, awesome. Excellent. Okay, cool. Now we're going to team up. So, the first three. Okay, might not be a bad idea to... Um, look at my Pokemon, but honestly, I think I might just stick with Gabite, Cracker, and Riolu for, for this uh, setup. Anyway, let's go and grab this item. Uh, calcium. Okay, cool. Now, obviously, I did miss uh, going in a particular direction, but it's fine. I have come to this volcano to paint a piece filled with my burning passion. Actually, if you think about that, I'm probably going to have to return to the volcano at some point anyway, so... Might not be a bad idea just to wait until then. Also, Smeargle and Smeargle, eh? Okay. If I knew we were going to use Smeargle, I would have used Riolu, but... Never mind. Ooh, Intimidate. Very nice. Or oh, own tempo, though. Well, that works, though. Nice. Only one of the Smeargle has it. And Trace. <laughs> okay, this is... Okay, this is a very long introduction to this battle. <laughs> oh, goddammit, and your smeargle. Right, uh, in which case then, let's... Um, I could use Bulldoze, but no, let's use Dual Chop on one target for now. Of course, you go for the target that I was going to go for. It's fine, we'll just team up and defeat one at a time, that's absolutely fine. Flame burst, yeah, that's not a smart idea. That, and we'll just do the exact same thing. So, dual chop on you, dual chop on you, and hopefully stop. Oh, okay, never mind. A critical hit, very nice. <laughs> yeah, that worked out quite nicely. Your moves flowed like lava. The lava here is the inspiration for all my greatest works. Really now? Okay. Might have to show me some of that at some point. Anyway, so down this ladder. Um. Oh, hello. I see you. I see you. I see you. Yeah, the strange creature was sucked into the cube. Oh, wait a minute. I think we're back to where I briefly went down. I think? Or maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking somewhere else. So there's a boulder there we can't push right now, so... By the looks of it, I think we might have to come back here anyway, so that little area that I missed, I might just check it out when we come back here, assuming I remember. But whatever, we'll just uh, keep on going for the time being. 
This volcano houses many secrets. Really now? Care to enlighten me on some of those secrets? Foster? Also, I just realised this is only a single battle. Fair enough. Well, that's fine, I'll just use Bulldoze on you. And hopefully not accidentally cause a volcanic eruption while using that move. <laughs> okay, trapped to the vortex, but it's fine. Ah, just keep on using Bulldoze. There we go, simple enough, there we go. Defeat of Ruin Maniac Foster. You are a mysterious young fellow. Indeed I am. I will unravel the secrets of Cinder Volcano. Okay, well, good luck with that. Uh, right, where are we going? So, down here? Ooh, possibly down here. What about this way? What's this way? A button? A button? Ah, unless I have to push a boulder onto it. Also, double uh, wild Pokemon encounter in this uh, scenario. Very nice. Although kind of annoying because that means we just have to go through this bloody intimidate uh, scene every time we get into a battle. So I think we're going to ignore that. Uh, so presumably, we might have to push a boulder or something onto that. I don't know. We'll see. But let's just carry on for a little bit. But Okay, we can't go that way. Uh, I'm going to carry on for a little bit, but having said that, I am going to have to wrap up this episode in a bit, but we'll do at least one more battle. Into the fiery pit we go! We'll see about that, shall we? Question is, single or double battle? Double battle, alright. Drillbur and Geodude, okay. You know what, I might as well just use Bulldoze. And because obviously I've teamed up with Staravia, it's not going to affect you. So you know what? Yeah, I think in this situation, let's just use Bulldoze. Oh, so close. So close to a double knockout. And of course, I had no effect on Staravia, which is absolutely awesome. And okay, you just can use Feather Dance. I mean, that's fair enough. Oh, okay, fair enough. At least uh, that's not going to make. At least that means Fury Swipes is not going to be as strong on you, but of course, four times? Four times, alright. Ooh, but you are going to use Rollout on Staravia, but not to worry. I'll just use one more convenient bulldoze and we'll get this battle over and done with very soon. Nice. I love doing a double knockout. And there we go, defeat a hike clock. Just kidding, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm going to stay rooted to this spot for all of eternity. Well, good luck with that. And I think, you know what? I think now's a good time for me to wrap up this episode. So, as feared, the shadows have caught Moltres. But maybe if we're lucky, now that we teamed up with Jax, maybe we'll catch up with at least one of those uh, shadows and uh, we'll see whether we can potentially get Moltres back. I'm not hopeful, but you never know. Also, I see someone walking around just below off screen. Oh, hello. <laughs> we'll battle you next time, whoever you are. So yeah, we'll uh, carry on go through us in the volcano next time and we'll see what happens then. So, on that note, thanks very much for watching, everyone. And until next time, I shall catch you all later.